A lot has changed in the quarter century since Loma Prieta. Smartphones are the norm. Google is talking about a driverless car. And Alan Martin shows us why scientists have a better grasp of when an earthquake is actually coming. Yeah, Alan. you think about it. Back in 1989, a gallon of gas was just less than a dollar. The first Simpsons episode aired on TV. And the first GPS satellites were launched into orbit. 25 years later, GPS is the key to new technology, allowing seismologists to warn us when a big quake is about to hit. By now, almost all of us use GPS. So the GPS works a lot like the GPS in your cell phone or in your automobile. But instead of measuring our movement, the USGS uses GPS to measure the ground's movement as faults slide past each other. Well, specifically what we're trying to get at is at what rates are these faults slipping? Keith Knudsen says that in the 25 years since Loma Prieta, real-time data on fault movement has become a reality, whereas three decades ago... An earthquake would occur and we would have technicians that had to go out in the field grab the films, put new films in, come back to the lab, process the films, and then we'd interpret them. It took hours, and now it happens nearly instantaneously. Almost real time, within seconds, we're getting information about what level of shaking and what the shaking looked like from hundreds of points around the Bay Area. And that single leap in technology is the heart of the early warning system. Earthquake, earthquake. A system Newton says worked just before the Napa quake the first big test since Loma Prieta. Because of this increased processing speed we have, we can calculate the magnitude and know the location. And then because we can communicate that information outward faster than the earthquake waves travel through the earth, we can warn people of the impending shaking that's headed their way. Granted, the early warning system's a prototype. There still isn't funding to use it statewide, but Knudsen says for Napa, it did provide between five and 10 seconds of warning for folks in the East Bay and the Peninsula for stopping BART trains or letting a surgeon know so he can put the scalpel down. That could very well be enough time. And it'll only get better and better, too. Yeah,